I hear the call of the stars. G'day everybody, you are listening to Duckville, you are a viewer, and you are about to hit up some awesome PvP matches between some great up-and-coming Korean Protoss here on uh, Tal Dream at the moment, we're on for the moment. Uh, this is going to be a match from the FXO Invitational Series Korean Qualifiers, which was an event which is uh, taking place at the moment, or just recently taking place. These, uh, all 32 players which have attended this event are going to be fighting for a spot in the FXO Invitational Series number 4, which will be taking place shortly down the line. And of course this means that uh, there will be a quite a hefty prize pool, I believe it's something around $5,000 as a prize pool for that tournament so all of these guys will definitely be fighting hard for uh, the place which they'll hopefully be getting if they can get through but these particular games here we'll be seeing are some matches between um, two up and coming Protoss as I mentioned down here in the red we have I am Yonghua who's a player who a lot of people have been talking about this guy has been doing some very cool things both of these players in fact have uh, competed in the LG Cinema 3D Starcraft 2 Special League which just uh, took place over in Korea both of them did quite well in fact took some games off some hefty players um, Yonghua took some games off Supernova and uh, took a game off Dongregu I believe who everyone should know by now Dongregu is a very very awesome Zerg player. And over here up in the top as the uh, blue Protoss in the top right hand corner we have uh, TSL Smart or perhaps you know him as TSL JYP but um, I would not be shocked if a couple of people weren't sure of uh, perhaps either of these players but especially um, Smart because he's one who's definitely still up and coming as well but this is going to be a fantastic game. Some of the guys from FXO have told me these matches were incredibly fun to watch and of course a lot of high level skill will be displayed by these players so for the moment of course we do see that both of these guys have gotten out these standard sort of openings for Protoss grabbing that gateway taking a quick assimilator there to make sure you're getting a gas up and in fact both of them are actually uh, attacking probes as, um, at the same sort of level here just attacking the probes on the gas this is actually quite an easy technique a lot of people who will try and do some things which you see Huck do which is to deny minerals on some of the patches they'll come, al come along the back try and deny minerals this is actually a much easier method if you're um, if you if you don't have a, like a massive high level micromanagement skill you can actually do this which is a little bit easier just chuck the probe into the middle of the uh, in the middle of the walkway here between the, the uh, probes on gas and then just keep clicking on them whilst you're obviously macroing at the back, back at your base you can sit here and keep making your probes building your cybernetic score as we see here and uh, you can do that sort of harassment which can be quite annoying and we do see the alternate version here by smart he's down here just sort of harassing the uh, minerals there making sure the probes aren't mining as efficiently as they could be but a zealot comes out it's going to chase this guy around for a moment we do see a stalker is now coming out from both of these players and in fact they've essentially mirrored each, each other's builds for the moment but we do see actually a little bit of a deviation here from smart he does have the second gas young white does not have his just at the moment however he is getting three gates so he's putting down three gates we're probably going to have a four gate frenzy here it looks as if smart is going to be on the little bit more of an economical side of things um obviously up in the high levels of play whilst um some people still do favor um these sort of a little bit different builds you still do see a lot of uh, pvps end up with four gates but as we can see here we actually have smart going for something a little bit different looks like it's going to be a three gate blink stalker i would assume he does have the twilight council here which is going to enable him to get blink for his stalkers once he pumps a few of them out but it looks like young is going to have a little trek across the map finds a probe camping out at the zelnaga watchtower denies that vision which is really going to help out with uh detecting where your opponent's units are as we can see here young can actually see exactly Exactly where smart zealots and stalkers are coming from in fact he's going to try and push up here a couple of units have taken some hits the zealots may go down for both sides i would suspect they would look at that this game is incredibly mirrored at the moment although we do see that young has put down a little bit of a proxy pylon over here he's perhaps going to have a counter proxy pylon from smart coming along on his side of the base but we do see that the four gates are up we are about to get crazy up in here we've got a couple of stalkers sitting up here on the ridge this is the uh this is the esl version of of, um, of Taldarim, by the way. So there is this little uh, line of sight blocker here, which a lot of people do underestimate. You can camp a unit up the top of the cliff here and then actually still have vision over here and, and you can blink across. So there are a couple of things you do need to keep in mind. Meanwhile, Youngwire has decided to come in. It's a stalker battle for the moment. We do see that we have uh, a little bit of an advantageous position for Youngwire at the moment, but some beautiful micro here 
from Smart has enabled him to whittle down some of those forces. The Zealot's coming into battle quite late there from Yonghua, but uh, he is definitely going to have an advantage now, along with the pylon that he's just warped in here. He'll be able to warp in some more units, and we'll probably see him chuck another pylon down here in just a second, but Blink is uh, not on the way. In fact, it is done, sorry. Blink is already done, so this actually gives Smart a nice little advantage here if he can keep some good micro up. Obviously, keep the Stalkers away from the Zealots, which are the ones that probably will do more damage than the Stalkers will for the moment, but it looks as if uh, Yonghua is into the mineral line here. Some beautiful blinks going on there from Smart. He's doing a nice job keeping these Stalkers alive for the moment, even using a little bit of just a basic move micro here. And it looks as if he will take an advantage. He's taken out all those Zealots. The Stalkers are a little bit in the red, as we can see here. A few of these are quite low. He's going to blink some of them away. Still losing some of these Stalkers it is Smart, but he is eventually whittling down some of these forces. I would not be surprised if he warps in a couple more Stalkers and then he starts taking a lead, but it looks as if Yonghua is not done bringing in more Stalkers. A couple of Zealots have morphed in here for Smart. He's going to be able to hack away at some of these Stalkers, which are on the wrong side of the battle. We do see this one Zealot is uh, poking away at those there. The Stalkers have dealt with that leftover Zealot that was inside Smart's base and now warping in a couple more Zealots to make sure he has an uh, sort of an able meat force there to make sure he can uh, deflect this attack further. Some more Stalkers warping in from Yonghua. He's got uh, one more coming in. He does have a total of the four Stalkers and four Zealots to the three Stalkers and five Zealots for Smart. But if, as we look down here, we still do not have any harassment here. The probe has not put down another pylon, and it looks as if Smart is going to be in a little bit of a troublesome position here. Without some awesome micro, he is probably going to lose some of these forces. But as we see here, He's done a fantastic job pulling these Stalkers away. He now even has an even Stalker count, although he is down one Zealot. And now both players losing a couple more Zealots. Beautiful little pushes here by Yonghua to make sure he is staying in range of those Stalkers. And now as we see, Yonghua is still warping in more, more Zealots. They are going to come in the back here. As we can see, this, the Harvester count is starting to drift away here. For Smart, he's going to start losing all of these probes if he's not careful. And in fact, he does have a little bit of a stalker lead for the moment, but sniping off one, sniping off a second. This is probably going to be the end here for Smart. He's lost way too many stalkers, not to mention the probes. And now we do see that the Zealots are inside the mineral line trying to run around to take care of the stalkers. Beautiful micro so far is uh, still coming out of both of these players, keeping keeping a Zealot inside the mineral line, keeping Zealots on top of these Stalkers. These Stalkers still blinking around, and they are probably now quite trapped, blinking away, and there is the GG. So, great little game there between these two players. Just a bit unfortunate with the uh, some of those blinks, perhaps. He could have uh, used the probes, maybe, to trap some of the Stalkers when they came inside the mineral line. I'm not sure, but uh, still, a valiant effort there by Smart to uh, try and keep that battle uh, going as long as he could, but just uh, succumbing to that power of the four gate push, especially with that pylon deep inside his uh, his line. So he's uh, going to have to do perhaps something a little bit different next game to see if he can combat that power of Yonghua's build. So we'll see what happens in the next game. See you there.